Welcome to Classic Game Room for the review of Virtua Tennis 2 on the Sega Dreamcast. Even more, Virtua Tennis, and that's Virtua Fantastic. Virtua, 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 Virtua Tennis 2 in the Dreamcast. Virtua Tennis 2 featuring Truxton because I'm predictable. This is the European release in the United States. This was called Tennis 2K2. And you can find it for a whopping four or five dollars on eBay. Which is a bargain because this is a very good game and I don't even like tennis games all that much. Tennis is nothing more than glorified Pong. In fact, Pong should just sue tennis for stealing its format. Oh look! It's the only two tennis players I know. The Williams sisters. I don't know them personally, like we don't hang out and play Pong together. But I'm aware they exist, I had no idea they'd been playing this long. While I know next to nothing about tennis, I've always enjoyed the Virtua Tennis series. They're really fun arcade style tennis games. And tennis is basically Pong, so what's not to like? It's been a long time since I've played the first Virtua Tennis game on the Dreamcast, but I recall liking it and enjoying the Virtua Tennis games in the arcades back when there were actually arcades. Back when Dave & Buster's had arcade games, instead of all those irritating things that just take your money and spit out tickets. Hooray! I've just spent 50 bucks to buy a 30 cent squeaky toy. That's terrific. Virtua Tennis 2 looks and plays great on the Sega Dreamcast. As you can see, the graphics are quite good, and the gameplay holds up nicely, too. Ah. Hooray! Let's knock things off the baggage claim, because why not? You can choose from any number of professional tennis players, but professional tennis players are boring if they're not drunk and getting in trouble. So the more exciting thing to do is create your own tennis players and send them through some kind of a confusing Virtua training program to level up and play in bigger, better matches against other tennis players. I think this would have been pretty neat back in the day. These days, it's uh, kind of a confusing mess, the whole structure of it doesn't really flow well, but if, if you spend enough time, you'll get the hang of it. The strength of Virtua Tennis is simply its gameplay. It's just really good. Like the first game, it just, it just plays well. It's intuitive. You get out there with your little tennis guy or girl and hit the tennis ball back at the other tennis guy or girl and try to light them on fire. At least that's what I tried to do. Didn't succeed yet, though. The Virtua Tennis series continued for many years. It's not a series of games that most people talk about. But if you like tennis or if you like Pong and the Dreamcast, this is cheap enough that you should most definitely check it out. It plays well. You can apply different spin to the balls and look at all, look at all these professional tennis players just waiting to get arrested for something. Or play a game for your enjoyment on the Sega Dreamcast. And I have two people to thank for this. My friend Mark from Bremen, Germany sent the game to the show. And my friend Anton from Germany sent the PAL Dreamcast that is playing the game. There's a whole bunch of tennis courts. Huh. Sir, sir, sir. I won't lie to you, this would be better if there were giant robots crushing these people, but you can also play a two-player game against a friend. In fact, you can play a four-player game, like doubles. In fact, I think it is doubles. I don't know anything about tennis. You could also play Super Breakout on your Atari. 
Classic Game Room has been brought to you by the ultra massive video game console guide 230 pages of video games on Amazon.com, Retro Megatrex, and how to make a video game review show that doesn't suck. And Jesus number two. Welcome to the Patreon Lord Carnage Club being shouted from a turbo volcano. Michael and Ariana Nelson, Ian Shore, Stephen Chucknick, Al Stever, Rick DeBarros, Jason Goy, Andy Schleiss, Sergio Matthias Hergert, Philip Straubenmuller, Jack Stavris, Ohad Kane, Simon Allen, and Sean Zoltek.